Preston Physics, Grade 11, Forces Note 6, Newton's Second Law. Now, Newton's Second Law, we're going to look at this chart where we have three buses. Now, we're going to compare the acceleration in all three of these buses with respect to force and mass. So first, let's say that we have a regular bus with regular capacity. So we have F for force, M for mass, and A for acceleration. It's going to accelerate at some rate. Now let's say we still have that regular bus, but we double the capacity. Now knowing that with inertia, when we increase the mass, it's harder to accelerate. We're going to apply the same force. We have double our mass. Well, that's going to decrease our acceleration. It's actually going to make it half of our acceleration. Now, let's look at the same bus, but let's supercharge it. Let's make the engine a lot more. We're adding more force. But let's change it to regular capacity again. So we put our little supercharger on the back. Now we have regular capacity, but double our force. So we have double our force, our regular mass. We're actually now going to have double our acceleration. So looking at this little kind of experiment that we've put together here, we can conclude that F, M, and A are all connected. If we look at F and A, for instance, when the force goes up, the acceleration goes up. That means A is proportional to F. And if the mass goes up, the acceleration goes down. Well, what that means is A is inversely proportional to M. From all of this, we can say that A is proportional to F over M. Or we can rearrange it to say force net is equal to ma. This is probably the most powerful formula that you're going to use in physics in high school. So you're going to need to get used to using it and seeing it in different ways. In words, we can say an object will accelerate proportionally to the net force that's being applied to it, but inversely proportionally to its mass. Let's look at that equation, what it means, and a simple example on how to use it. So we have force net equals mass times acceleration, where force is in newtons, our mass is in kilograms, and our acceleration is in meters per second squared. Remember we talked about before that a newton is actually equal to a kilogram meter per second squared, so this kind of makes sense. If we look at our example where we have our box and it has an applied force on it of 56 newtons. To find the acceleration, we use our force of 56 newtons. We know that the box is 26 kilograms, so we have force equals ma, and we rearrange to find that a equals f over m. We substitute and solve and get our acceleration to be 2.15 meters per second squared. This was a fairly easy application to that equation. It does get more difficult, but as long as you always remember that the force net is equal to the mass times acceleration, it's not too bad when we actually get into more difficult questions. Your duotang questions for this section are 19 to 21 from your yellow book.